Happy Father's Day, Mervin. Yeah, you. How do you plan on spending your Father's Day? Oh, I'm going to spend my Father's Day down at the Southern Eleven across the street. Why? Oh, because it's where all these chicks go every year to find their fathers. Really? Yeah, yeah. He said he was running out to get milk, but it's been 15 years. <laughs> so you show up and what happens? Oh, I tell him, listen, I may not be your father, but I'll be your daddy. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, how do you usually celebrate Father's Day? Oh, uh, the thinking mind for having me and being glad I did not make a mini me. <laughs> Wait, you were never a father? Well, uh, I fathered a gerbil once, which was great because he got to feed it, love it, and take care of it, and then one day, it left home. What? Yeah, it's like they always say, if you love something, sit at three. And if it comes back, it's because there's a high chance you ran over it and it's now lodged in your tire. Sorry, Fluffy. Well, do you have a message to all the fathers out there? Yeah, here's a message from the perspective of the other generic child to their father on Father's Day. Okay? To all the fathers that have put out blood, sweat, and tears, countless hours looking to the life of your family and keep your house afloat, the struggle, the love, the loss, and the hope that rests on the future of this family, Enjoy this vague Hallmark card that I got at CVS while wait for them to refill my prescription. Huh. I'm taking this Father's Day off. Just call me Papa. Papa? Papa Xanax. <laughs> eh, wait, wait, wait. What? Where, where are you going? Don't worry. I'm just going to get milk. Oof. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> yeah.